Okay, so get this. I'm in Iowa teaching a staff training about orphan kittens, and in walks a person with an orphan kitten. The Boone Area Humane Society decided that they would name her Hannah after me, so I started calling her Hannah Jr. I'm staying at a hotel just down the road, so I agreed to take her with me so I could get her cleaned up. Hello from a hotel bathroom in Iowa. This is my new little kitten friend who's named Hannah, just like me. This kitten is a mess. Her belly is completely caving in because she's so hungry. Her eye is infected and she has a really bad upper respiratory infection. This little kitten was so starving, she actually wasn't eating on her own, so I had to hand feed her. She is only 313 grams, and she doesn't really understand how to eat on her own, but when I just pick up the food and hand it to her, she is ravenous. This is one of the amazing things that fostering does. It gives them individualized care, so that rather than having them in a kennel saying, you know, she doesn't want to eat, we can give her a chance. We can give her that individual care, individual attention, so that she has a chance to survive. After getting all cleaned up and medicated, Hannah Jr. made herself right at home in my hotel room. I think she was pretty comfortable. As I got myself settled into the hotel room, I started to realize that I had a tiny furry shadow following me really everywhere that I went. Do you like me? I think you might like me. And I appreciate you. I think you might like me. Shortly after getting checked in, we got a call from the one and only Jackson Galaxy, the host of Animal Planet's My Cat from Hell. Jackson and I recently rescued 50 kittens and did a special episode of his show called Kitten Impossible Road Trip Rescue. If you haven't caught it yet, you can watch it online at animalplanetgo.com. Hannah Jr. and I did a quick live stream with Jackson, and then we settled into our hotel bed to watch the premiere of the episode. Hannah Shaw, also known as the Kitten Lady, is a lifelong animal lover and a personal friend of mine. I really couldn't have asked for a better buddy to watch the show with. After that, I got tucked into bed with my new little buddy. The next day I was going to be teaching my public workshop at the vet school and about 150 people were coming so I was hoping one of those people might be able to give her a really great foster home. My all day workshop focused on how to care for the tiniest and most vulnerable felines just like this little one. And at the end of the workshop I had 10 different people offer to take her. And that's what it's all about. I teach these workshops so that there are lots of people who know just what to do when there's a little kitten like Hannah Jr. in need of a foster home. I took Hannah Jr. back to my hotel room for just one last night together so that I could get her nice and fattened up, give her more of her medication, and get her ready for her new foster mom. And I was pleased to see that she gained 40 grams overnight. Her eye is starting to look so much better too, it's amazing. Even though my plane was leaving and I knew I had to say goodbye, I felt so good knowing that I had given her 48 hours of life-saving care that would kickstart her recovery, and I was so excited for her to meet her new foster mom. Okay, time to leave the hotel. If only I could find Hannah Jr. There you are. Are you making yourself so Cozy. I mean, that looks awesome. That looks like the most comfortable place on earth. We had our last goodbyes and then headed to meet her new foster mom, an awesome woman named Abby, who had attended my workshop the day before. I'm glad you're feeling better. She's like, I gotta get all cleaned up for my new foster home. She's like, I don't care, I'm cleaning my butt. <laughs> okay, all right. <laughs> That's a very cat-like goodbye. Okay. <laughs> I love you, Hannah Jr. Bye, baby. Aww. Bye. I'm so proud of Hannah Jr., and I'm so glad that I was able to work with local advocates to help fight for the little guys.